I'm going into the position tracking and you can see there are a lot of different features for each of this module. For most, it might even seem overwhelming to understand and start using it effectively. So I'll try to see, give an overview idea on what kind of data you can get and how it's useful. Where position tracking now shows all the different uh, data like the visibility shows the how much that my keywords are visible within Google, estimated traffic which I am receiving, what is the average keyword position out of all the keywords I have added and you can see how many keywords of mine is on top 3, top 10, top 20, top 100 and it's also shown me a visual identification on the ranking distribution. It shows for all the different dates so since I have just set it up today it's just showing it for November 10th but if once as the time progress you will see data on other sites as well it also will show me all the top keywords which I am currently ranking on and if when there are some keyword changes or ranking changes since there is nothing now because I have set it up just today but tomorrow maybe if there's positive you will see positive ranking changes if there's any negative you will see the negative ranking changes and if you have added keywords based on tags as I told you to group different keywords you can automatically see all the different tags on how many keywords inside of each tags and as a total of that tag visibility is estimated all those stuff and you can also add your own competitors as well to compare your keyword with your competitors that is possible and so features are showing like what are the different search snippet feature these are overview we can get more in-depth data for each of these things from here so let me show you the overview first and it shows the top pages which is ranking and also uh, cannibalization health as well let me go one by one when I, when I go to the overview tab now it gives me an overview and much more depth with lot of different controls like you can see lot of different it even identify a potential keyword uh, competitors for my so I can directly copy uh, compare it for example if I click something like digital marketing institute it automatically compares my key ranking with that particular competitor if I want to add uh, one more competitor let's say do backlinko um, and I can see another comparison between my ranking and that particular blog's ranking. So I can do a comparison and you can see there are a lot of different sections like the top 3 or top 10, top 20 or what are the different ranges based on SERP features you can filter out the data based on the tags you have created you can do it based on the intent of the keyword you can separate all the different ones based on volume you can filter or even advanced filters there for example you can see containing keyword CPC so there are a lot of filtration uh, ideas here and also you can see you have share a voice where it will show the percentage but it's not available on my plan but it will show you the percentages of how each of the website is occupying the market uh, date uh, search uh, uh, search area of that particular industry market how they are covering it estimated traffic average position as well and you can see here the notes section is there where it will automatically show uh, any google updates note or my notes where even i can add my own note let's say for example in case something i'm doing something major on seo i want to track like what i have done in order to get an idea on later in case if the positive movement appears i know this is the reason for that so something like a backlink or created or something something major you can create all these things you can see all the different ones and create your own note here as well so that is what it shows and if i go down it gives me a in-depth uh, ranking like all the keywords I did and you can see I can add more keywords from here depending on my need there is also several actions like here also you do have different filters you can go into this and table settings gives you much more control on what are the different 
columns you want to see and it shows the keyword the intent like what kind of keyword it is and it shows the SERP if I wanted to see the actual SERP page for this particular ranking I click on it and it will automatically give me a SERP page of it so I can identify where is my this is located to give a better understanding of it and it will show you the SERP features any extra SERP features which is available on Google for this particular keyword the position difference CPC volume data as well so that is what you see on the overview column ranking distribution is where it will show you the percentages on where you're generally ranking on uh, organic search results it shows the top 3 top 10 top 20 top 100 it might look simple here but when you have hundreds of different keywords then you can get a sense of the importance of it so you can get a better idea and you can view these data according to your need as well uh, you can also see the tags uh, grouping all this data from here i haven't done anything that's why it's showing a blank one for me it will now show all the top popular pages within my website with as more ranking you can see it shows the total keyword the intent rate how this keyword this particular page is attracting which type of keyword it shows that this type this page is is more of a navigational keyword rather than transactional where something like a my black friday page is we have 50 50 on both navigational and commercial intent so i can get an intent intent is very important i have created a separate video on my video seo course so if you are interested you can watch that as well cannibalization data is shown here you can see obviously there's no date uh, here because there is no problem in this where well, it's usually when when multiple ranking urls are going after one single keyword you will see those kind of data here and competitors discovery is where it will show you how you are ranked compared to the competitors who are doing the really big and we can also see the winners and losers profile here and if i go down you can see each of my competitors and their visibility compared to mine like i have a lot of work to do it shows all the day it even identify over 710 different competitors for me i can go it i can do an advanced research on it i can set this particular person as a competitor so i know always i'm going to track this person also within my ranking tracking also so all these options are here device location is where where i told you that you will get another uh, option to set up a different device when you are setting up position tracking you can set up different tracking from here using different for example mobile i'm going to do that and i'm going to do uh, select uh, this and i can add a keyword and start doing that for example let me do a quick one to show you an example uh, do that and let's add it just to show you that this is possible <coughs> And you can see it automatically starts gathering data for that particular keyword which I have just entered and you will start seeing that particular data here. This is for that particular keyword on where the keyword snippets are located. For this keywords which I have added there is no keyword snippets that's why it's not showing any data. So if you are adding any keywords which has a keyword snippet idea then it will show you all the data here as well. And if I go into this and let me go into the overview again and you can see you can see all the different data here as well. So that is what the position tracking of SMrush does.